he's really cool. He's got cool patterns. He got like a zigzag black spot on his uh, forward head and in the back. So yeah, this is really him. Sometimes you can hold your hand out and he'll jump, but if he doesn't jump, sometimes you can pet right before the tail, but right before the cleaca, which is the butt. Um, and now I guess I can feed him a couple crickets. I'm thinking about getting the tweezers so I can watch him eat them sometimes, but, or some chopsticks, so I don't have to go fancy to buy something. So I'm just going to put the crickets in with the vitamins on them. I'm going to put them right down so where he can see them. Oh, I poured one cricket into the water. It was dumb, but yeah. Oh, there he goes. So I'm sure by later tonight, he the crickets will somehow find a somewhere to go hide. So, yeah. Um, he... He, um, he, uh, I, I got him from the vivarium from a present from my mom, um, because I, I was going to get one off Craigslist, but the lady decided, uh, not to call back, so I waited on that, so I was bummed when my mom came home, but, she had a surprise, and the surprise was she had a baby crusted gecko from a place called East Bay Vivarium. I really recommend it because it gives good uh, care. And they have lizards, snakes, turtles, big snakes like iguanas and chameleons. And big snakes as in like maybe 10 foot uh, I forget I'm blanking right now but yeah so um so he doesn't look like he's too interested in the crickets because he would have spotted them and charged at them but oh Maybe he is kind of interested. I think he might smell them, but I don't know if he can smell them. So I'll probably put th three in a day, but if I probably have three in there, probably max every day. So once I see one gone, I put one more in. But if they haven't been eaten for a while, I'll probably switch them out. Because, or I might put in a little cricket put them in there and then switch them out but so yeah so if you're a first time lizard owner I would recommend getting one of these they can be kind of pricey but in the long run they are sweet and um I got one as an adult and I just love him he's awesome so, so if you have any names, please subscribe. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Did you guys see that? <laughs> He's eating a cricket. Zoom in on the cricket, Mom. That's cool. So, when they're babies, they should eat crickets most. They should eat most of their diet crickets, but they should also eat... Probably 75% crickets and 50, uh, I mean, 30% uh, fruits and vegetables. Oh, here comes another one. Watch <laughs> it. Wait, zoom in on him. Huh, where'd he go? So, well, I'll try to see if he's hungry and put another one next to him. Oh, he's not. <coughs> rats. Oh, here he goes. Boom. Oh, he missed. Let's see if he goes again. So I might put a couple, maybe one more in there if he doesn't. Here, I'll move the dish for him so he can. Oh, and one of the crickets is walking, was walking up the wall. Here he goes. Boom. Oh, <laughs> he had his tail. But, oh, there he goes. Dead.
So yeah, that was pretty cool. My mom videoing it hates when I feed my snake, but she laughed when ate the cricket. Oh, crickets are dumb. I hate crickets. But yeah, so if you have any good names for the little guy, please subscribe. Okay, this is uh, 22 Pet Boy signing out.